there people, this is Bruce McCool or Nintendo's here, back again to give you some more help on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels Plus. And this time we're up against Alita. And this time I'm also female, somehow. I don't know how I accidentally chose her, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> decks are still the same, what can I say? So, Alita, she runs the Ajamas. For those of you that don't know, is Ajamas, you either have to have a lot of them on the field to activate certain effects, like Jama Hurricane, which I'll talk about a little later, or you start messing around with attack and defense on Jama Country again, I'll show you soon enough. And on top of that, depending on how many get special summoned, certain monsters can be tributed out because of the sheer amount of monsters there. So, the big, big thing I'll say straight away is run a beatdown deck. You can't hang around with her, although she, uh, although her type of pajama deck is kind of rubbish, if you just hang about, she's going to end up destroying and wrecking you entirely. So, in terms of defences, a lot of the monsters are 1000 defence, or with a drama country's effects in play, actually zero defence. So, feel free to keep on attacking. A few of the effects, so you can probably see going off now, a drama blue allows you to bring, uh, I believe it was two drama cards to the hand from the deck, which is pretty awesome. And Oja Magic there, that allows you to bring uh, a drama green, yellow and black to the hand. So you can see how she gets all these monsters, which is pretty good. Um, if she has a drama red, when she normally summons that, then she could special summon as many a drama cards as possible, I believe it was. So black, yellow, green, uh, just completely fill up the field. Now with that, Jama Hurricane can only be activated with black, yellow and green on the field and that just obliterates your entire field. So monsters, spells, traps, you name it, it's gone. So that's the main thing about the Jamas there. Uh, other than that, they're just basic 0 attack 1000 defense slash 1000 attack 0 defense on the um, Ajama Country thing. As you see, she just had to get rid of a load of cards because her deck ain't that great. Um, now in terms of the more fearsome monsters, She's got Oblister Tormentor, one of those, and one Baboon Green Defender or something like that. Um, now, although it's not very likely she'll bump into them, they can be a pain when they hit the field. So the thing you want to do is try and get rid of the monsters as soon as possible. All the Ajamas on the field, just get rid of, and that way she won't be able to summon out those monsters. Now, other than that, uh, the other reason for using Beatdown to get rid of her monsters is her defences absolutely suck. There's not a technical word for it, they absolutely reek. So she does have Mirror Force, granted, and when it's her turn she's got things like Lightning Vortex she can use and Heavy Storm or Future Fusion, um, but she doesn't have a lot to get rid of your monsters, so she's got three traps, so there's no point running Royal Decree, no, you know, no point having that sort of Beatdown against her. And other than that, she's got Book of Moon, a few silly little things like that. It's pathetic, it really is. So, as long as you just keep on attacking, you'll be fine. Here we go, Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. Completely forgot what the name was, but there you go. Now with that card effect, to be fair, it's got a decent uh, effect for her deck, where if a beast type is uh, destroyed, then she could pay a thousand life points and special summon it from her hand, I believe it was. But again, it's not a real big beat stick. The big thing to look out for is Obelisk the Tormentor, because once that hits the field, there's only a few cards that can affect that, so you do have to be careful. Other than that, that's really about it. There's not much to say with Alita. Like I say, if she brings out Obelisk, then that's it, kind of game over, especially if you're running Stallers, because it's useless. She's going to get the monsters out as soon as possible to do use as tributes. But yeah, basic beatdown, any type of beatdown, will be fine. And as long as you rip through her monsters, again, completely fine. So, I am going to have to leave it there. Uh, unfortunately, Alita is one of the easier duelists, so there's not much commentary I can give apart from attack, attack, attack. Um, but what I will leave you with is a little treat of three Golgars and just the beauty of aliens. God, I absolutely love aliens. So, as always, pop your comments in the section below, let me know your thoughts, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon.